Hello! Okay, this is gonna be quick while I drive to library because it's a review on Tangled. Season 3, Episode 1. So the creators did not disappoint this time. What they did is they said, you know what? The fans managed to figure out, or at least tell us, that, you know, that Cass has, is a good, opera, is a good candidate for a dramatic reveal. That <laughs> shocker and shock street that uh, Cass or Cassandra is Gothel's daughter. Dun 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 dun. Dun. So that's the thing. Um, so Cassandra, what she will finally reveal what was what we saw in the. Was it the, the house of yesterday's or tomorrow's memories or whatever? Was that Cass's, Cass's mom is uh, Mother Gothel? Okay, lots of people saw that coming. Hell, even I thought that was a good, good premise, and it came to pass. Now, what I am calling to question is really the motivation. Uh, what they could have done is they, they tried to harken back to Challenge of the Brave, where Cast versus Raps that you know there's this rivalry between them you know and and that they're trying to harken back to that it's like okay I can understand you can see your jealousy but your jealousy wouldn't be this personal you've already resolved it socially but that was personal? But Mother Gothel didn't steal the child because she loved the child. She stole the child because the child was the vessel that housed, housed the, the power of the sun drop. But Cass takes this more as, my mother chose you over me. Eh. And I'm like, okay. You're, that's a bit thin there, show. You're, you're, you're trying to push that, you know, and it's like, okay, so Cassandra stole the moon drop. What the hell is she supposed to do with it? Like, what what is she supposed to do? Uh, uh, like, what's her motivation? Like, what is she supposed to get out of it? Spite? I can understand spite. But eh, I, I'm just not grasping what is her overall end game in taking it. Like, what is she gonna do? Resurrect her mother so that they can live happily ever after? I don't understand that at all. So, when, so when, um, after the song, which is really freaking awesome, by the way, of Crossing the Line, but I, it, it's all done in the most rated G betrayal ever. It's what, it, that's what it was. It's, I take this, I walk away from you. Um, not being all that mean, I'm just trying to explain myself, you know, that I feel that I am owed this, I'm guessing, that's what she wants, that's how she's explaining it, but she's just, I'm just breaking, it's like, I'm breaking up with you, kind of a thing, as friends, I'm breaking up with you, and it's like, ah, you're trying to sell it, but you sound awesome while you're doing it. Paper thin motivations, but it was a good song. I can't stop listening to the darn thing. And so, having that done, Raps is now Miss Happy, Happy, Happy. And it's like, oh dear, she's doing that denial thing. And yeah, that's a good motivation quirk. And Eugene realizes this has to be talked about. Okay, maybe not now, but she's gonna need to talk about this. You know, and you know they don't have to talk about that now because here comes the plot in a, in, a, in an air balloon that takes them back to Corona, which the King and Queen have had their memories erased, and then man, Zephyr Breeze Man Bun guy shows up, 
the bibliophile, the guy who loves books, that guy, he shows up and Variant was a cellmate and he, they concocted this plan. That's why you don't put two smart guys together in a, in a jail cell. It doesn't end well. So, you know, they, they get their band of merry goons together and they hatch this scheme and Variant's going to erase the memories of everybody in Corona because he feels bad about betraying everyone. So his internal self-loathing is now regular self-loathing. So now he feels regret rather than just anger. Or his anger is petered out, so now he just feels regret. And then... Um... What, uh... He, so this is, you can tell, this is Cass's betrayal and then Varian's redemption arc. Because she still needs that extra third friend. That they're still hammering in this trio for the series. Of course, this could explain why Cass isn't there in the, in the end of the movie for the wedding. Of course, that'd be stupid, but, you know, whatever. But, uh... <coughs> it's a good episode, had good humor, it had good suspense, uh, it had good characters. Characters were, were nice. Nobody was over, or underplayed, underutilized, or out of character, which was nice. Of course, the dramatics, heel turn, uh, character motivations is kind of annoying. Because we gotta get her out and Variant in, so Cass has gotta be, so Cass has gotta betray, and Variant's gotta regret. So again, it's this dramatic heel turn of this whole thing, and it's just like, oh god. You know, you get whiplash, you get tonal whiplash, and from this, it's just a hard shift to turn. And so, after all of that's uh, over and done with, the episode ends with one of the best parts. She's starting to talk about her feelings. Cut the credits. I was like, but we want to hear her. We want to hear at least five minutes of this, and, you know, or something. We want to hear this part. You know, her talk about her feelings. How she feels betrayal. How she feels emotionally vulnerable. You know? But instead, all we get is, well, you know, the episode's over. We don't really need to talk about that. It's like, Glance over that part again, Disney. Never forbid you have a real conversation about anything. So, so, yeah. There really isn't all that much of. Um, to talk negatively about this episode, other than it's standard, because those are always there. Tonal whiplash and, you know, uh, skipping over the, the more interesting, deep dialogue. Um, it all just kind of... It, it's a good combination. It's a good, it's a good episode, and I highly recommend it. Seasons 2 walkabout storyline just really grating because it's like, get to the bloody point. So finally, after all that, and the lore, they had to, well, it feels like they're just overly complicating the whole damn thing. It's like, we're making this whole backstory. Why? Corona's backstory wasn't all that deep with, you know, with uh, Rapunzel, but, it's like, you're adding in all this other stuff way over here and over here, where it's, like, it's all just right here, kid. Here's Corona. Here's the backstory. And then, well, the backstory's all the way over here. It's, like, it kind of just comes off as needlessly overly complicated. So, it's, like, well, you're making your, your own universe, Disney? You already have the MCU, you know? You have Kingdom Hearts for everything else. You know, and Wreck-It Ralph, are you going to just, like, start making another Disney universe? But whatever. So then... <coughs> um, but I still, after all this time, I still like... I still like Raps because she's... Oh, she's an optimist. 
you have to think positively to deal with your problems, to deal with your life. And who knows? Maybe before the end of this, we'll see Mother Gothel again. Who knows? And not in a flashback. Um, it would be rather interesting if they made an animated... Uh, the, the TV series' version of, the, of an animated follow-up, personally bridging the gap between the end of the first movie and the epilogue, you know, uh, uh, um, narration at the end. That'd be nice. Showing them when, you know, they finally get together and get married. And actually show that Cass is or is not there, or why Cass is not there. Uh, so there's that. So yeah, it's, it's everything I could think of. Songs are fantastic. Characters are fantastic. Uh, I'm very curious to see where this goes. And it's nice not to see, you know, stuff coming a mile away. It's, it's nice to keep things kind of a little bit unknown with the storyline. You know? And anyway, so... Yeah, so... Uh, that's, that's it, really. That's all I have to say about that. So... If you like the series so far, you're going to love the series opener. Um, also running congruently or simultaneously is um, Season 4 opener of uh, uh, Mr. Robot. So that's going on right now. So I'm curious to see where that's going to go. So these are the two shows I'm going to be watching congruently and see how they turn out. Alright, so take care. Bye.